Right, so let me just jump straight into the video. No, she, she wasn't ready. Of another video to my newbies thank you for coming by my new subscribers my new viewers possibly subscribers thanks for coming by and having a look to my old subscribers my old time guys I love you thank you for your support I see you guys out there okay so today guys this is the quickest hairstyle that I can do whilst protecting my hair in an old wash and go okay so as you can see um, to some of you my hair still may look wearable for a wash and go but I don't like this crunched up crinkled look and some parts of my hair are soft and some parts are still crunchy so and it is coming up to wash day so what I just tend to do now if I want to push my wash and go for a few more days or so I will just throw my hair up in a messy bun and today I'm going to show you how to do that with these baby hairs right here okay as you can see I've got product build up in there but guys waste not want not I am going to work with this all right guys so just carry on watching Okay guys, so first what I'm going to do, is I'm going to spritz my hair just so it's easier to work with. It's an old conditioner bottle, all I've got in there is water. And I don't want my hair damp or limp, I just want it lightly spritzed. That's enough, I think I've got more movement now. And then what I'm going to do is quickly just throw my head forward, as you do. <laughs> oh, my head's stuck. So I'm going to try and get it as high as possible. So I'm going to not pull it. I'm going to position my hair right to the front of my head like so. And I'm going to do it very loose. So I'm going to put this around like so. Just one time. And I'm going to pull my hair through. I need these little curly bits out. Okay, so as you can see, it's taking shape already. Looking real cute, you know. So any bits that are hanging out, you can style to your desire, guys. Desired look. Any bits hanging out, you can obviously elongate them like this bit I've just put around there, or just fix it to how you want your hair to look. Obviously, I'm going for the messy look, so I'm, you know, just maneuvering little parts so they can do their jobs. All right, so I'm pretty satisfied with that there. So as you can see, guys, right now I've got some, uh, little limp curls going on here and at the back these parts are the parts that I was actually growing and they've come to a nice length but they're still not long enough if I want to I can pin them back but I still I like it uh, I think it's cute to have them little curly whirly bits out at the back so that's what I'm going to do I'm going to leave those bits out but I'm going to zhuzh them up I'm going to give them some life okay so what I'm going to be using for that so they're not stiff and they've got beautiful pores and movement and if you know me already guys you know I love <laughs> my curl activator so you just need a little bit guys this should be enough to do these and the back so let me get to it As you can see they're a bit more zhuzhed up and I've got this little bit of frizz here but I don't mind that I, I quite enjoy that quite enjoy a bit of frizz when I've got these messy hairstyles so just to make it look a little bit more messy let me just quickly show you the back okay so to make it look a little bit more messy I'm just going to loosen it a bit more so it's just got a bit of because I've got a flat head <laughs> at the back I just want a little bit of a you know a bit of volume to the bun all right so you can pull it loose right so guys it's the fun bit see how quick and easy that was I'm telling you guys I'm not hooking you up so let's get to the fun bit the baby hairs so I've got my baby hair template I'm just gonna work with that as you can see I've got product build up and that's from my last video when I done the wash out conditioner as a leave-in so that was a Tresme conditioner if you want to go ahead and see what I'm talking about you can click the link now or you can press after this video and watch Right, so what I'm going to do now, guys, I'm going to reactivate 
the mixture of the conditioner and the gel. I'm not gonna add any more product, just gonna reactivate it with the water, just to liven it up. There you go, it's coming back to life. So any of these dry bits you may have, guys, which you are familiar with if you stretch your washing goes and wear washing goes with gel, you do get these little white flaky bits. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna reactivate those. And any excess like this that I'm not gonna work with, I'm just gonna wipe off with a towel, guys. It's not that serious. I'm gonna go with my toothbrush. Just see, I haven't put enough. You see, yeah, yeah, reactivate that. See, I'm not really one to really go all in with my baby hairs. I just like them to be noticeable, but I don't want to make them look like little twirls and whirls and you know, all that jazz. Because I want it to look messy, I don't want the baby hairs to look neat because it will contradict the whole hairstyle. Okay, right, so this is what I've got going on so far. As you can see, I've still got some of those white bits. I'm just gonna go ahead and wipe those off off camera and come back to you guys with a completed look. Well guys, here you have it, the complete look. Aren't I just as cute as a button? <laughs> I'm loving this look today, guys. If you do want to see this complete final look, outfit and all, follow me over on Instagram at MissLaurenLee11. Be sure to follow me there because I do daily updates and giveaways and what have you. So if you haven't, if you're not already following me, go over to Instagram, follow me right now, and subscribe here as well. You might as well, if you haven't already, you know, I'm just saying. But that is it guys, thank you so much for watching and I will see you on Thursday. Alright guys, have a great beginning of your week and I'll see you soon. Bye!